feeling the bounce. If you haven't progressed to the bow and arrow arm load and you're still at the standard here, we're still going to focus on trying to feel the bounce here with the ball coming back. This is important because eventually we're going to go from this position here, dropping and rotating or externally rotating the shoulder. We're going to go from here and we're going to throw the ball back with the same effort it takes to drop this way before we rotate the shoulder externally. So if you feel comfortable from the bow and arrow here, once you get to this position, throw back, but we want to make sure that we can feel this bounce here. Now, the tough thing with this is you're going to have to train to feel the bounce like this first, loose arm, almost ragdoll-like, because when you do it properly, the ball's going to drop and I'm going to rotate simultaneously and it's not going to hit a point to bounce and reverberate. It's going to hit and rotate. So I'm taking this bounce almost out of it. It's going to just go down and swing as opposed to bouncing to feel that first so that you know when to go. Advanced, standard. 